Behold, the wetsuit, but where did it come from? Meet Hugh Bradner, born in Nevada in 1915. Hugh was born in Nevada, but he grew up in Ohio. Although he loved swimming and diving, he was a physicist by trade. Hugh took a position with J. Robert Oppenheimer on the Manhattan Project. During his time with Oppenheimer's group, Hugh worked on everything from the bomb's trigger mechanism to the layout of the test site. After the war, he began teaching, but he still made time for his favorite hobby. During this time, divers worked in a cold, often uncomfortable climate. For people like Navy frogmen who spent hours in cold water, this problem could be intolerable. What if, thought Hugh, you don't have to be dry to stay warm? He started tinkering around in the basement, and between 1951 and 1952, he came up with the stuff of diving genius. Today, we call this nifty creation the wetsuit. But what makes it so special? The answer is a synthetic substance called neoprene. Thanks to gas bubbles inside neoprene, the material acts as an insulator. Hughes wetsuits allow water to seep inside with the divers. The water becomes trapped between the diver's body and the neoprene, and it heats up to match the body's temperature, keeping divers warm. Hughes started a company to sell these wetsuits, but he didn't patent the invention. Although most people credit him with the invention of the wetsuit, it was a matter of intense debate for years afterward. Eventually, most people came to agree with his claim, and today he is known as the father of the wetsuit. Bradner's legacy lives on. Recently, researchers in Australia developed a line of anti-shark wetsuits. Their pattern to confuse a shark's visual system and ward off the hungry predators. Not bad. 